Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Will's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading for July 28th, 2020 and it is for the sign of Virgo. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take what resonates with you and the rest of it just leave it aside. If it does not feel right with you, it most likely is not right for you. Um, that being said, if however you do have any questions and you would like to have information on uh, receiving a personal reading, so something, um, a reading that is all about you, your life, your situation, your questions, your answers, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you that information out. Also, um, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. It's so very important to me and it shows me your support and your encouragement. So if you have not yet done so, please do click the subscribe button and with no further ado, I'm going to begin this reading for you. What a rhyme, eh? So um, this here is your three card spread. I'm using here a fairy godmother message. Um, this is a about your love, so your love situation. It's a love reading. So with no further ado, let's flip them over. I have victimhood. I have discernment. And I have a abundance. So we're going to begin here with victimhood. It looks as though you're laying down here playing the victim. I have no pity. Our fairy godmother has no pity. So there, okay. Uh, there, there, dry your tears is what the fairy godmother wants to tell you. There's no need to be sad, okay. In fact, no need to be down in the dumps at all. Four, while Fairy Godmother waves her magic wand, your eyes are going to be open to what an amazing life you could and do actually have. Now, I realize that a few situations have not quite turned out the way that you would have liked. But for too long now, okay, Fairy Godmother has watched you cry a river. Now, do you not realize that you're dwelling on what has been? And I do mention again, what has been? Stand up, shake yourself off, and reinvent your life. There's no more poor me, okay? What you expect in life will indeed show up. Unfortunately, you're in a place of expecting the worst, and you are now playing the role, and very well, my, I may add, of the victim. Now, you presume now that nothing's going to work out the way that you hoped for, and that you expect others to take, um, to take a dim view of you, and you're highly sensitive to what, you know, you deem as being victimized. Now, need I go on about this? I certainly could because all the tears are for nothing but getting you attention and pity. And it does work. However, do you really want to spend your life in a state of feeling wretched, isolated, and feeling sorry for yourself? Now, I could even suggest that deep down, perhaps you enjoy a little bit of the attention. Now, this is just time for tough love. So pick yourself up, take some responsibility for your actions, make steps to break out of the victim's mentality, and look at the lessons that could be learned. Work on eliminating feelings of frustration from the uh, expectation that someone is obliged to satisfy you. You're going to find that by doing so, that the victimized, paranoid feelings that inevitably always arise will soon just dissolve. And ultimately, freedom is going to beckon as you fuel your wary mind with the positive expectations and peace that it craves, okay? So this is about letting go to the past, letting go, letting go, okay? You need to let go. I know you're sad. I know that, you know, there are very bad things. It's very difficult to close that door, but you need to close it. You need to get rid of that uh, negative energy over here, okay? Um, we're going to move over to the second card, which, you know, looks like hocus pocus here. This is discernment. So, It is your belief that too, too many friends in your life would make you feel happy and complete, reducing fears of loneliness and isolation perhaps. Having lots of people around you would make you feel um, and appear very popular, right? But with a big circle of friends comes betrayal and too many sides to be on. And who has your true interest at heart? Who are the pretenders? 
Who generally cares? With all you've got going on in your life right now, do you really have time to play the popularity game? Now, you do be careful. You must you must take an inventory of who you really care about. You must take an inventory of your friends to really see who is true and who is not. Who is only around because they want something from you. To who is truly around because they just want to be with you, help you, and spend lovely moments with you. Okay? This here is really about uh, people. The true people in your life are going to stay and they're going to stay in your life and they're always going to be there. And the other people you're going to see in moments of sadness okay, like over here, are going to disappear and they'll reappear when things are better. This is not the type of people you want to keep in your realm here, okay, of friends. So be very, very careful about who you let into your secrets, who you let into your world, and who you keep there, okay? You can keep all those friends if you want, but don't treat all those friends on the same level. Don't tell them all the same things because you are going to end up getting hurt. So be very, very careful about that. It's not about the quality, but it is about the quantity, the other way around. It's not about the quantity, it's about the quality, okay? So, that being said, we're going to move over to your very last card here, which is all about abundance. So, this is really about, it's just a magical moment, you know, for your prayers, you know, seems to have been heard here, and you are about to be answered. Haven't enjoyed a very rough ride over here, okay? You thought that you were sinking to the rock bottom, and you just kept on going knowing that someday assistance would arrive and it has in the form of your own fairy godmother so now fairy godmother has watched you struggled often going without and other, other times you've thrown caution to the wind and treated yourself knowing that the finances would eventually turn up you see when you don't follow your dreams and your passions it's like swimming against the tide how can a universe give freely to you when you have barricaded yourself in? Perhaps you felt that you're not worthy of receiving or feel bad when accepting gifts. And when you turn this type of thinking around, you will be in a position to receive all that is waiting for you to come. Now, it may not appear in the form that you expect, however. So if you ask for ask for a specific item, it will manifest often as something much better than what you have imagined. Too many people believe that they should ask for money in order to purchase their desires. A true alchemist knows to focus solely on bringing the desired object into form. Now, that being said, you need to be very, very careful on what you desire. Okay? This here, I was talking about abundance, abundance of money. Okay? But I'm going to talk to you about abundance of um, of love, of emotions, okay? You need to be very, very careful because over here you have a great deal of friends. You have a great deal of people that do surround you and it could be very, very difficult whenever you get into a relationship to know what this person really does want for you. Do they want you because you know that you're the popular one right now? Do they want to be with you because of maybe some riches that you do have, some financial gains that you do have? Do they want to be with you? There are so many many ulterior motives. You need to really be careful with the abundance of everything that you have around you. And when I speak of abundance, I speak as it may be material, it may be uh, emotional, it may be on any realm, okay? The abundance that you have, be careful to protect it and to only give it to the people that you wish to truly give it to and who desire to have it, okay? So be very careful really about who you're going to be getting into. If you are in a relationship, be very careful that they are trustworthy and that you are with that right person for the right reason and they're with you for the right reason. And if you're not in a relationship, be very careful in your friends of who might want to come in for some um, some ulterior motive okay so that being said this does conclude your reading I hope that you were able to get some messages out of it I hope that it helped you out a bit if you do have any um, questions you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and in the meanwhile please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we'll be seeing each other uh, tomorrow for a daily snapshot have a great day and thank you so much for being there thank you for your support